Hi, we're going to look at an overview of aromatic compounds. Aromatic compounds were named this years and years ago uh, because traditionally uh, aromatic compounds are very fragrant, that there's going to be a smell associated with them. Now uh, we talk about aromatic compounds simply being a benzene ring, okay, a benzene ring. Now let's look at a couple of ways that we can draw this benzene ring. Uh, benzene has six carbons on it with alternating double bonds. It's a resonance structure. I'll include a link up above if you need a little review on resonance structures. Uh, so here we have it. You have your six carbons and then I have a double bond alternating. Notice this is going to be 120 degrees because any one of these carbons has one, two, three electron domains. Uh, so it's going to have a um, trigonal planar geometry, which means it's all in one plane. That's a uh, part of its significance, part of its significance. Each carbon is bonded uh, to another carbon with a single bond, another carbon with a double bond, so every carbon therefore has one hydrogen. Um, now, in reality, that these double bonds that you see, they move, they resonate back and forth. So this is another description. This is going to be our skeletal structure for a benzene ring. Notice my three double bonds, and then over here, they're all just alternated. This is here, and then that one flipped up, and this one is right there. Now, how this really exists in nature is, is one, <laughs> one molecule, and that double bond resonates back and forth. So we can do a circle right here showing that they're actually constantly moving right here and there, that those resonate back and forth, um, meaning that each of the bonds has the same length. When we draw it like this, it doesn't accurately represent it. It looks like I have a bond length of one and a bond length of two. It's actually going to be about a bond length of one and a half for all of those. They all have the same bond length. Uh, so the way we draw this, uh, it's not an accurate representation. So we do our best job. We'll do a double arrow to show those double bonds resonate or sometimes do a circle right there to show that they resonate. They all have the same bond length. Um, now this is going to be unsaturated, obviously, because we're sharing electrons. These carbons don't have the maximum number of hydrogens around them. This is not a cyclohexane. It's not a, a cyclohexane where that would be saturated. Um, or actually, sorry, that one would not, it wouldn't be a hexane in um, contrast, that would be saturated. This is unsaturated because of that oscillating double bond. Something really unique about a benzene, it has delocalized electrons, uh, meaning that they're going to sit um, above or below uh, the molecule itself, and that creates an added stability um, compared to other unsaturated compounds, a little bit more stable. Because of that, it's our number one polar solvent. Uh, so this does a really good job of dissolving other nonpolar molecules. We use uh, benzene often as a, polar so a nonpolar solvent. A couple of its properties is a low melting point and boiling point. Now this is, I think, the most important thing for you to know in organic chemistry. Aromatic compounds are benzene. They do not undergo addition reactions. So our alkenes, when you have those double bonds, they undergo uh, addition reactions. However, aromatic, when you have that benzene ring with that resonating double bond, it does not undergo addition reactions. So here I have my benzene ring. I could add the bromine to it, no reaction. It will not add that. The benzene, the aromatic compounds, they do what are called substitution reactions. And I have a whole list of videos for you. Um, I will post a couple of those uh, up above for you. Um, yeah, we have a whole list of substitution reactions that our aromatic compounds do. So you want to have aromatics, the benzene, in one file in your brain and the alkenes in a different file in your brain. Alkenes are going to do the addition reactions. Aromatics are going to do the substitution reactions. And as you make your flashcards, you're going to put them in two different piles. Okay, nice. Thank you for being here. Have a great day. Hit the like button if this is helpful. Thanks.